What are the two main disadvantages to solar? This is another video from our series where we're taking all of the trending questions and trying to give you honest answers about them. That's actually a really good question. And there's two of these that come to my mind. The first of which is that not everybody can qualify for solar. Like if your house is covered in trees, um, if you don't have a good enough credit score, if, if you don't have a taxable income, then solar's not gonna be a good fit for you. And honestly, that's kind of heartbreaking because for the people that do qualify, solar can actually save you a lot of money. Um, so I would say that one of the biggest disadvantages is that you have to have certain things in place to be able to actually even qualify for it in the first place. The second one is going to be that there's a lot of companies out there that don't necessarily do things the right way. Um, solar is a huge and booming industry and anytime you have something like that you're going to have people coming out of the woodworks to be try to be a part of that industry and to be a part of the modern gold rush for lack of a better term because it is such a popular thing now. And when anytime you have that you oftentimes get people that are uneducated about exactly how things work um, that don't take all the proper necessary precautions to make sure that the homeowner's truly and really being taken care of. For my opinion, those are the two biggest disadvantages to solar industry. But for the people that qualify and if you're dealing with a reputable company, it honest to truly is going to save you a lot of money.